Hello, it is me, Noelle, and I am here making a video about, drumroll please, the 100, because people want to see it, but also because the new trailer just came out. <sighs> it's heartbreak. It's a real pain. You feel it. You see it. You understand it. You don't understand it. You agree with it. You don't agree with it. Okay, the trailer, it, it didn't even begin to sh show what really is going to happen. It just gave you this glimpse into another world where you're just like, whoa, what the hell just happened? And you're thinking, what side do you choose? You know, like this show, it has the good side or the bad side. And honestly, which is which? I mean, grounders do bad things. The sky, uh, sky people do bad things. Mount Weather people, they did bad things. And look what happened to them. They ended up dead. They got in a war with two other enemies. And, you know, it, it ended for them. And so this season, I'm, you know, Clark is on her own. She's really, like, messed up after killing all those people. Like, can you blame her? But really, she becomes a grounder and goes with Lexa. Ugh. Lexa. Bye-bye. Go go. Away. Now, I'm just glad they don't hook up because I know Clark gets a new love interest. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but it's just going to be this fling, nothing serious, because like someone said on Twitter, Bellamy and Clark are each other's true north, and that just, for, and she's seen episodes, and that just like, I was like, yeah, it's true, because we get in the trailer them hugging, oh my god, we fangirled so hard, everyone did, you know you did, even if you weren't a fan, you're like, oh, like, Oh my god, like this hug is so different because it looks like he's picking her up or she's running into his arms and he's crying and it's the first time you see her smile and it's the first time you see her normal and the kiss happens after his fight with Octavia because I saw pictures and his face is like just healing so it's after Octavia fights him for I don't know what reason, probably because he infiltrated the grounders and got them all killed or because he got Lincoln killed which a lot of people think Lincoln's gonna die I don't know I mean I'd be sad but it wouldn't upset like I wouldn't be upset I would understand and I you know I wouldn't be upset but I do love Ricky like that's what's hard is I love him but it's like Lincoln it's like I like him I just ha don't have that attachment now Bellamy and Clark are my favorite now, like I told you, not because of Blark, because I love them each separately, but Clark is so strong and amazing, and yeah, she does things that really piss me off, but that's what I love about her, and then Bellamy is, like, the best, and, like, apparently Bellamy's gonna go back to his bad self this season, and I'm like, okay, like, I'm okay with that, it doesn't bother me at all, I want to see that, actually, you know, like, well, I mean, I don't want him to go bad, bad. I, I'm not hoping he does, but I don't mind seeing it. You know, like, I'm either way, I don't mind seeing it. Um, then Keen and Abby, hello, 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 hello. Can you guys breathe? You need to take a second. You need something, anything, you know, a condom, just saying. No, Keen and Abby kiss, make out, you know totally for that have been shipping it since the beginning I always thought there was something between them and the first season I just since the first season I've always thought there's something between them and I've always thought maybe they hooked up once in the past or something I don't know but they they kiss passionately and I'm all for that and uh, who knows you know Clark and Bellamy, when they have that hug they can have a, like a re they can be like having a really serious talk about what they're doing and how they need each other and like all the sentimental stuff and then they hug and stuff or you know they could hug and then maybe kiss you never know I'm not saying it's gonna happen but I have faith it could and I'm so excited for like what's to come after like I know this is just the third but I'm excited for the fourth already because it's like the third I just know it's gonna be so amazing 
and then Octavia has tattoos now, so she's like a grounder, I think. I don't know what the freak they kicked her. Andrea kicked her out because she stood back for Bellamy, so I don't know what the hell's going on. And then, you know, like, she has that fight with Bellamy, and that's me. And honestly, I'm not that invested in the Blake sibling relationship either. I like protective Bellamy, but I like him for Clark. I like him protective of Clark as well. Like, both of them, you know? Uh, what else? Thelonious with that girl, and I don't know what the frig is going on. Like, the, we're gonna see a little bit of the girl's past, and I'm interested to see. I think she, like, messes up or something. And that was my phone, sorry. And she messes up or does something wrong, and she can't fix it. I don't know. But I want to see what the hell is going on with her and Thelonious, and then Murphy's gonna come to the house and see Thelonious sitting there, so what's gonna happen? Murphy cannot be touched. He is my baby. I love him. Don't touch him. I love him. He must stay. I love Richard Harmon. No. Do not hurt Murphy. We'll hurt someone. I will hurt someone. I will fight. Um, also, Jasper Bald is really weird. Like, I don't know. I don't like it at all. Like, he looks like, no offense, a, a prisoner to me. I'm sorry, but he does. Uh, but there's a scene uh, with him and Octavia, and she's like, hold, like, has her arm around him and uh, comforting him because he's crying, and I'm all like, because you know, the shipper and me, I still like them. I always have. I've never stopped since the beginning. I've liked them. So. And then Monty, oh no, Monty is going dark, you know, he's dealing with it, but he's not dealing with it where people know, he's keeping it inside and Jasper doesn't understand that because Jasper likes to show how he's feeling, Monty doesn't, so, you know, Monty's hurting and Monty's not okay with the choices he's made either, but that had to be done, they had to do it, or they would have died, all of them, so it's like, you have to survive. That's the world. It's either survive or die. And if you're gonna die, die go, die out, die by going out fighting. You know that's all I can say. Like, oh my god, so dry. I just can't wait to see the season. Like, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say. Also, you know, Raven, yeah, she has bad luck. Like, damn, I don't know what the frig. I love Lindsay. Raven, eh, I like her. She's alright sometimes. But she hits the shit under the stick and it's like, damn. And then her and Wick look like they're about to get blown away by something. And she's always getting hurt and shit. I don't know what is up with the writers doing that. Uh... What else? What the hell? What the hell? I think that, let me check my list. Just to make sure, because I want to answer everything so you guys know what I think about it, the whole episode. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, and also we're going to explore the grounders a lot because of Clark. Can I see her with the dreads? Uh, not working, not working at all. Like, no, 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 horrible. And then that scene where she, she's having, you know, whatever down there, uh, her hair looks with dreads, but red instead of blonde, and I'm like, ew. And she just does not look good. Like, she needs to get her act together and, like, shape up. Not just looks wise, but, like, just person wise, like, personality. Like, you need to snap out of it. I think Bellamy will help her snap out of it, or be there or to help her. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh also, when uh, Bellamy and Clark are interacting, and Clark's like, you don't, Bellamy, tell me you don't, tell me you honestly don't want a war or whatever, and he's just looking at her like, it's, and he says, we've, ever since we landed, it's been a war or something like that, and I'm just like, Oh my god, because they're on opposite sides, so I'm so interested to see that, what's going to happen, because he's going to go to war, and as we see, he's going to infiltrate. Oh my god. I did not know I had that on there. I'm so sorry if you see that. He infiltrated uh, the grounder, so I'm interested to see what's going to happen there. Like, I can't wait. Wait, Baloric, the 100, the whole everything. 
Does it get out again? I'm so excited. Sorry. If, I'm sorry for the lipstick, but I don't want to do this video again because I really got in depth and I can't remember all of it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward for season 3, January 21st on the CW. I'm so ready. So ready. So ready. Noel.